Hi, my name is David Lee, acupuncturist. Today we will be going over a case who has lupus and migraine and other issues using bisoma acupuncture and tetrasoma acupuncture. These are the initial profile of this patient. Female, age 30, she's a teacher. She had chronic joint pains, especially in the hands, knees, and feet from lupus, which was diagnosed eight years ago. She had also severe whole head migraine, especially in the occipital area for 10 years. In the last few months, every month, she's been vomiting three times per month. And the headache was also having symptoms of pulsating artery in the left temple. In the past year, all the symptoms have been getting worse. She also had skin rash, severe hair loss, and she began Lexapro, which is antidepressant four weeks ago. She hasn't noticed an improvement with that yet. Chronic insomnia and daily bloated. So her digestive system was not working well either. And she's been getting twice a week acupuncture so far at 17 visits total. This patient had much benefit with these acupuncture points. These are horary points, gallbladder 44. That's a wood point in wood order. Wood order means wood is at the well point, fire is at the spring point, earth is at stream point, metal is at river point, and water is at the Hussey point. So these points are have the same pattern as the yin horary points. Some patients have these points as their horary, and bisoma acupuncture utilizes horary points only. And these points are gallbladder 44, that's a wood point, small intestine 2 is a fire point, stomach 43 is an earth point, large intestine 5 is a metal point, UB40 is a water point. Because this patient is a lesser yin and greater yin combination, lesser yin means deficient earth, excess water, greater yin means excess wood, deficient metal, her central element becomes an earth point. Therefore, earth points, other earth points were added in, which are Li3, which Li3 is a stream point, Si3 is also a stream point, stomach 43, gallbladder 41, UB65 are also stream points. There are earth points for this patient. And this patient having this diagnosis of being a kapha in Ayurveda, melancholic in Unani, affiliation in need theory, conscientious in social styles, ESFJ, ISFJ in Myers-Briggs, that I'm able to confirm the diagnosis and give her earth point as extra points. And these are one of the tetrasoma acupuncture styles. And these are added in to affirm the treatment. She had a total of 17 treatments. In the first two treatments, I gave her a metal order bisoma acupuncture, which are LI1, UB66, gallbladder 41, small intestine 5, stomach 36, which are all horary points. And they helped. They helped to reduce her heart rate Resting heart rate, 134. She had that for a long time. And immediately it had gone down to 94, which was she was very excited about because the resting heart rate should be between uh, 55 or 65 at most in that range for most people. And she has been eating uh, not according to her body type. So I, on the first day, I adjusted her diet and her bloating started becoming less. So wrong foods were directly causing the bloating. Although the metal order points, the horary points were 
helpful immediately and significantly, I change the points to would order points, which are gallbladder 44, small intestine 2, stomach 43, large intestine 5, UB 40. Not, well, it was because I wanted to see if the alternate horary points were more helpful to her. Why would I have changed the points if the initial points were working? It's because I have my way of checking to see how the patient is responding to acupuncture. Some patients respond well to any stimulation, and that's great. But any stimulation can lead to a limit of improvement. Therefore, I have to find the optimal points that help her to get the optimal result. result. And the symptom that I noticed was their palms and feet were still clammy 30 minutes after the acupuncture. When the treatment is good, hands and feet should not be clammy. They should become drier. So then I changed the points on the third visit. So then the wood, horary, wood order horary points were, they helped to dry the palms indicating that the wood order was better than the metal order. From the fourth visit, I added earth points because by that time, I was pretty clear about her diagnosis as being a lesser yin, greater yin combination. That means she has ex excess wood, deficient fire, deficient earth, deficient metal, and excess water. Her continued treatments at twice a week allow for additional improvement in intensity, frequency, and duration of pain, insomnia, headache, fatigue, bloating, and well-being. So she was comprehensively improving in multiple symptoms in frequency, intensity, and duration. That indicates there's an actual improvement rather than control from the previous experiences I had with the acupuncture. And her resting heart rate had further went down from 130 to 65 beats per minute. After the 13th visit, she did not need vitamin B injection and her regular visit to a medical doctor was extended to 12 weeks from eight weeks. She had 17 treatments so far. She feels very free. Uh, she, her well-being is quite up. Her pains are much, much less. Uh, if I could give a number, I think about 80% better. What she says is that she feels very normal. She have, haven't had this type of experience of being free in years. Sometimes she has symptoms here and there, but they're temporary and they're less intense and they don't occur as definitely not as often because all those symptoms were more or less constant for years. If you'd like to get a comprehensive information on how to do bisoma through getting the theory and knowing how to do the technique for bisoma so that you could immediately practice and get a result like a 20 year practicing acupuncturist, this is the video to watch. It's about, I believe, four or four and a half hours long. So it'll give you lots of cases, lots of incidences, and it will answer lots of questions that you may have learning through this. All right, I wish you good success.